I'm back, everyone. I apologize for that. But I just ran a test with uh, Twitch Inspector, left the stream running for a good 5-10 minutes-ish, and bitrate held stable, even after I fired up the game to play along with it. So we should be good now. If something crops up again, well, unfortunately, I will just have to wait until Thursday. But it's good right now. I'll take it while I can. <laughs> Pretty stark difference from when uh, I was starting streaming, where I would actually just kind of get... Not kind of, I would visibly get mad when this wouldn't work. I just get disappointed, but at least I know steps I can take to deal with it. <laughs> and the usual step is, wait it out, use Twitch Inspector to check. Anyway. We are back with Ruta Grisaya, for sure this time. We're going to at least, at least for today, if we can, get ourselves set up for the last two girls' rounds. So I have, so I will have save points for every girl, so I can easily get on their rounds. We have one for Makina, one for Romane and one for Sachi so far, so I believe the next one we're going to be working on is more than likely going to be Michiru's. And then that would leave this safe spot to be uh, Sakaki's. So we're going to load up, continue on, and see what hilarity slash heartwarming uh, stuff we got for us today. Use enter to go through these. All right, and of course we open up immediately with some misogyny. Oh, I forgot how much I hate this guy. My voice might also sound a little weird because I'm just kind of getting over some kind of cough or cold or something, so it's a little off today. Thankfully, the only person I got a voice is Yuji and. Yeah, more or less just use my normal voice for that. Well, we'll see how it goes. Alright. Back when the village well was still an essential aspect of daily life, the world was a happier place. By avoiding the well, it was possible to avoid women's idle gossip to some degree. In modern times, the whole world is a minefield. You never know when you're going to trigger a verbal explosion. Sweets are especially troublesome. Despite their small size, they're extremely efficient at inspiring females to chatter on at length. Their destructive efficiency resembles that of a hollow point bullet. Gee, what the fuck, dude? Ah, <laughs> Yuji, Sure, it looks good for me on my end. Yeah. We're in business, people. And great, Amani's been looking for us. It's usually either food or some kind of weird uh, innuendo. <clears throat> a program of academic activities is over for the day. I'm just taking a short breather when a Mane calls for my attention. Sorry, I'm busy at the moment. Can it wait? I'm not attempting to shoot you down, and I'm not trying to be blunt either. I'm just informing you that I don't currently have the time to put up with the lengthy, pointless chattering you people love so much. Damn, dude! ねえ、それ、全然やんわりした表現になってないわよ。ないわよ。嫌がらなくていいじゃないのよさ。今ね、友情の話してたのよ。I'm sure I've already explained that my knowledge on this particular topic is fairly shallow. But apparently, they haven't quite quite gotten the message yet. 
sorry, but not gonna, I'm not going to be of much use. I've never even done the typical marathon, bloodied, knuckled fighting by the bank of the river until both sides collapse and become fast friends. Hey. Huh? As a reference to some kind of anime trope. I don't know which one. Actually, I clearly do know that one. It's uh, having a bare knuckle brawl with you know, someone, and then it's like, hey, now you're my best friend. That a fact? It happens all the time in books, though. I was convinced it must be a commonplace daily event. なんで殴って友達になるのよさ。殴られたら嫌いになっちゃうでしょ。でも今回はそういう友情の話じゃないの。男女の友情は成立するかどうか、これって結構重要な問題だと思うのよね。Is true friendship between a man and a woman possible? Yes. Just a very hard yes. Watashi wa yoko wa kanai nda kedo ne. Tomodachi wa tomodachi da mon ne. Damn straight, Makina. Gomen na sai. Chotto toro wa ne. Ah, Yumi chan wa do omo? Eh? Do te nani wa? Ima ne?男女の友情は成立するか否かという人類における命題に手をつけようとしていたのよ男女の友情私にはわからないわ。ちょっと考えるのよさ。よし。考えたじゃない。<笑><笑> あまり経験がないから答えようがないのよ。それを知っててわざと質問したの。あまり困らせないで。シェ。おお、こわ。ちょっと怒ってたのよさ。あんたの言い方が少しぶしつけすぎたんじゃないの？ああ、大丈夫
Why are they persistent with this curry thing? Chocolate flavor would have would have been a more logical choice in this case. あ、ほん。じゃあ、せっかくだから道ルにも聞いてみようかな。いやよ。絶対あんたに教えてあげないからね。で、何男女の友情って成立すると思うほら、男女で親友同士みたいな感じ。Yes。One suspicious of my bit right there for a second. That seems to be alright. It's still kind of fluctuating, but it's fluctuating in the range I'm used to. こういう話題って男か女かでも考え方が違うからね。どう思ってるか気になるわよね。うん。そうだね。何チルチル、どうしたんうん。何でもないよ。ちょっとごめんね。She really had someone who she considered a friend, like a best friend who was a guy. And then something happened, I would assume. Maybe it's why she acts the way she does. It is tries to be a sundere so hard. I'm trying to piece this shit together. Oh, my throat feels like ass. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, definitely was not it, uh, Sachi. Tummy <laughs> ache. Oh no, don't bring this up again. What? It's Calais this time? Of course. It's a fever. We can't rule out malaria either. All right. I suppose I'll have to take the appro take appropriate measures. He always thinks... He always thinks she has some kind of problem with her fucking bowels. I swear Yuji has a shit fetish. Yeah. Okay then, I'll be going now. I decided to poke my nose into Michiru's business, less out of genuine concern for her health than a desire to escape a tedious conversation. But after searching the entire dormitory from top to bottom, she's nowhere to be found. Locked in the lavatory, perhaps? What have you seen Michiru? Say what? I see. Thanks for the heads up. Why would she head outside when she's clearly feeling poorly? Or was that just some sort of an act? Can this man stop? Can he just stop with this? Ugh. I'm forced to read this dialogue. Jesus. Michiru, what do you think you're doing? 
You need to take it easy if you don't want those clothes to end up irre irre I mean, irredeemably soiled. Yeah, she ain't right. She's not right right now. Hmm? Is your chest hurting? It looks like you're in pain. The hell's going on? Michiru's face contorts in evident agony. Beads of greasy sweat have formed on her forehead. It looks like a considerably more serious attack than the one I witnessed a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. She did have something like this go on. What's wrong? Look, I know you're devoted to your craft, but no one's going to revoke your membership in the Sundere Club if you ask for help when you're sick. <laughs> You look terrible, though. I can't do that. I'd be, only, I'd be unable to assist, assist if this attack suddenly developed into a medical emergency. I'm not willing to take that risk. Holy shit. As good as her word, Michiru stalks sluggishly off the school grounds, dragging her shadow behind her like a ball and chain tied to her feet. Seems she found my intervention seriously un unpleasant. I quietly watch her go. No, she was not. She was in pain and didn't want anyone to do anything. Did she have some kind of like heart condition or something? Yeah, I don't think there's a problem. Yuji's actually being a nice guy. She clearly doesn't want everyone else to know what's going on. She's not going to accept help, so he's not going to tell everyone else and have them fretting over something she doesn't want them to fret about. Alright, Yuji. You get plus one in the books for that. That can be taken away in a heartbeat. Don't eat erasers. Just don't. Uh, it's, it's really bad for you. Eh? これ何言ってるから、俺の気管のことですね。ジーズ。またマニアックな食材を。そしたらみちるなんだって。マイネって言って、そのままどっか行った。おお、マイガード。うん。ゴールズテイストバッドマイヘブンパーマネントリーフライ
ちゃんとフォローとして、一応役を渡しておいたのよさ。なお、ミチュルシー、ダウン、インタイアフォーキング。It feels like there's something in my eye. But I don't want to rub it too hard so I can burst a blood vessel again. Please don't tell me it was a pulverized eraser. She gave her a fucking shredded eraser. Makina! No! Makina? Ato de chut h a n a s i g a r u k a r a n e Ah! Okoradu! Okoradu! Tokoro de Michiru Samawa Dotira ni Rasharano de Shoka. Watashimo Yosu o Mite o k i t a i n desma. Can't say I know. She wandered off somewhere by herself. Amana's reaction to my words is distinctively overblown. Things seem to be moving in a troublesome direction all of a sudden. You did indeed, and I assured you that she was. My grounds for that judgment were very simple. Michiru herself said as much. Can't deny it was a little pale. Personally, I didn't think she appeared particularly healthy in general. But the girl herself said. サッチャンはいいのこれはミチルを一人にした勇士が悪いだからちゃんと探して責任取ってきなさい<笑> What sort of responsibility do you have in mind? ちゃんと最後まで解放してあげるとか保健室まで送り届けるとかあるでしょ男だったらそうしなさい Don't be pulling that shit on me Just because Yuji does it to you doesn't mean you do it to him Be the better person, Amane. Ne, s a c h a n you see a woman o I don't like where this is going. Oh, y e j o s e n i a m i e n a this ne. Sebetso to a retara, dance that to Kotaimas. De so? Or a ne, you see, eat the kina sai. Can't, it? <laughs> Can't say I'm feeling particularly motivated. Mr. Makina, why are you still in your school uniform? Good lord. It's hardly a problem warranting such squawking. I get the message. I suppose I'll go look for her. Yeah, there's one place that comes to mind. By the, by the like, all that, like, cliffside that she was standing at beforehand. Got that really nice CG. I leave our school and head to the location in question. Michiru probably headed for that high ridge overlooking the sea. It's a quiet space where she won't be disturbed, and she seems to find it pleasant. I doubt there are many other places that meet those criteria for her. And yet, Michiru isn't here. No matter how much I look, I don't see our familiar bottle blonde dimlet. Damn. Have my instincts grown dull? Hmm? Cry. I turned in the direction of the sound toward the very first area I checked. At the time, I quickly determined Michiru wasn't there. 
now I notice a blonde girl seated on the grass. But despite that distinctive golden hair and the Mihama Academy uniform she's wearing, I can't convince myself that girl is Michiru. Very strange. Are these errors of judgment on my part? Perhaps my perception of reality has been warped by spending so long inside that from what hermetically hermetically sealed pocket of eccentricity they call a school. Okay, thanks for the big words. <laughs> Meet you do. Answer me. Okay, space bar should get rid of it. Yeah. Okay, I like that. She's sitting there and petting. I believe the cat's name was Kitty Meow. That's that's a cute scene. No, I've got the wrong person after all. At least, that's what it feels like. But the number of people who wear this uniform is very small. Logically speaking, there can't be any mistake. The girl in front of me has the exact same face as Matsushima Michiru in every perceivable way. The closer I look, the more she seems like someone else entirely. What's going on here? Eh? A very subtle change in some visual detail can dramatically change a person's impression. But this isn't that sort of a spot the difference is puzzle. To put the matter plainly, this Michiru simply is not Michiru. I can understand now why my eyes slid right over her at first. Of course, I'm now left with a far greater mystery. Who is this Michiru I see before me? Who are you? And so, I ask her point blank. I'm well aware that it's a strange question. There just doesn't seem to be any other way to phrase it. The imposter Michiru is staring out at the ocean, a small black cat curled up in her lap. She looks perfectly healthy, and there's no indication of distress on her face. If anything, you'd think she rolled out of bed at noon and took a little stroll to enjoy the fine weather. She appears utterly relaxed. Is Rommel doing well? I emphasize the name as if to def definitively slap a label on the cat. Michiru turns toward me, a quizzical expression on her face. I don't know which Rommel you're referring to. There's no way I can answer that question. More importantly, which Michiru are you? You're not that Michiru, I'm pretty sure. Does Michiru have, like... Split personalities or something? Or what's the more accurate term for it? Yeah. DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. She has something like that? That's kind of the feeling I'm getting. The 
This girl doesn't stumble in conversing with me. She banters back with perfect composure. Hmm. At the very least, I don't think you're the Michiru I know. Does she actually have DID? Mind explaining in more detail? I don't understand what's going on here. Hmm. I don't think the girl is deliberately trying to confuse me, but this attitude is somewhat irritating. Reminds me of a mean-spirited adult teasing a child while holding an empty cookie jar behind their back. Now that you mention it, I think I may have slept with books more often than women. I'd probably just say, come with me. Of course, I'm fully capable of utilizing, utilizing honeyed words instead, if the situation necessitates them. Not a fact. Can't say I remember running across anyone like you either. Have we been have we been introduced yet? Michiru lets out a brief, amused chuckle. So <laughs> Wasn't exactly a difficult guess. You like this play well, place well enough to designate it as your final resting place, after all. Sorry, you're losing me again. Who's that girl supposed to be? Hmm. Yeah, this is this is very different from the Michiruo we actually know. It's really different. Watashi我探しに来てくれて感謝している。だが心配は無用だ。健康状態は回復し良好。Precise, clear phrasing. I say though, you're now on the insipid side of things. Say what? I I see. No, surely I don't talk of that. <laughs> Michiru clears her throat with an affected ahem. なるほど。では本当にちゃんと話をしたのよ。君さ、前に死んだら何もないって言ってたでしょ。天国も地獄もないんだって。That's right. 
Those stories are complete nonsense, invented to control people from superstitious terror and fraudulent promises of salvation. Of course, once you die, your brain becomes nothing more than a rotting piece of meat. So it can't exactly hurt to think what you want while you're, al while you're alive. It's not like you're ever going to realize you're wrong. If the idea of a heaven waiting for you makes life more bearable, you may as well believe in it. Hmm. I'm not prone to that particular delusion, no. I understand that death is something like an endless, dreamless sleep. Yeah, more or less. What are you talking about? A corpse rising from the grave? I do not expect some kind of some deep conversation today. Well, I have heard stories about people who went into a comatose state and were mistakenly identified as dead. Every once in a while, a corpse pops up off the bed and scares the hell out of everyone in the room. Sorry, what? わからないでしょ。わかんないのよ。つまり君にもわかんないことがあるってこと。死んだら何もなくなるなんて想像でしかないじゃない。<laughs> God damn. She's just tearing down Yuji's character. I love it. Not particularly. では質問を変えます。もし死んでそれで終わりだったら、なんで人間は生きてるの? Some pretty introspective thoughts right there. I don't think I was ready for that today. Also funny that I'm playing this talking about what if the day after you die you just woke up on fucking Easter Monday of all things. <laughs> Doing the day the OG woke up after uh, his death. <laughs> when we could just die early and skip the pain? Is that where you're going with this? Man, she really being forward today. Hmm. If you think your life to be yours alone, I suppose you're free to die whenever you want. But in the vast majority of cases, people can't live alone. Your existence incurs costs on others. Specifically, you're alive because someone else spent money to keep you that way. Until those debts are paid, letting yourself die would be pretty damn selfish, don't you think? Sounds 
somehow this Michiru has managed to drag me into a truly cryptic conversation. Feels like I'm struggling to complete a puzzle with no possible solution. If there's some point to her questions, it completely eludes me. Human beings are too full of themselves. And that's the only reason they worry about questions with no answers, like meaning of life. Every other animal is concerned with the struggle of their daily existence and very little else. We really shouldn't be any different. Where did this ridiculous ego come from anyway? Things probably went off track back when we first started picking up rocks and hitting each other with them. Good for you. I quit. This pointless conversation is officially over. I'm going back to the phone. I turned my back on Michiru, resolved to cut off this unproductive debate. But after a few steps, I come to my senses. This isn't exactly a satisfying conclusion. I was just teased into ignam ignominious ignamious the whatever that word. Retreat by a cheeky little girl. Fuck, I gotta learn to. Fuck, I gotta be more cultured and red. I turned back and faced Michiru once more. Black Cat, apparently startled by my motion, leaps off Michiru's lap and bolts away through the tall grass. Huh? Michiru looks perfectly fine now, but at the school she was pressing her hand to her chest and grimacing in pain. That wasn't the first time I've seen it happen. And by some strange coincidence, the previous case also occurred after someone brought up the topic of best friends. The instant Michiru heard those words, her health deteriorated dramatically. It was the same today. That may not be all there there is to it, but at the very least, it should be the key that leads me to an answer. All right, so this will get us onto her route. Save us, All right, got our save points. I got a feeling asking will get us onto her route. asking would definitely get us onto her route because we want to know more if we just ignore it entirely it's like all right yeah whatever so i'm gonna go with no it's nothing no it's nothing i'm overthinking this this strange little interlude must be nothing more than a new part of her act She'll no doubt be back to the normal Michiru soon enough. So, so uh, sorry I scared off the cat. I see. Alright then. I'll be headed back to the dorm. Hmm. Oh, 
Hmm. Your condition appears favorable. There's nothing in particular to be worried about. I checked up on her. Isn't that sufficient? I'm not the girl's father, you know. I'm not obligated to spend all day nursing her. What? You still have a problem? She'll return eventually. Listen up, Makina. Everyone needs to be alone at times. It's a basic human need. Respecting that is very important. You understand? <laughs> An excellent case in point. Yeah, there isn't a problem. I'll guarantee that. Just as promised, Michiru returns shortly thereafter. I spot her walking down the dorm hallway, chewing on something with a the reinvigorated expression of a woman who just passed a kidney stone. Jesus. You're back, it would seem. Please don't be chewing on the eraser still. Please. What are you eating? さっき帰ってきた時に本物のところで牧野に会ってね。お帰り、チリチリって言いながら、ひょいって何かを投げるものだから、反射的にパクって。もぐもぐしながら、これ何って聞いたら、本物のオルテって言うから、そうか、これが
やっぱり産業品のオルテは味が落ちるわね。本物のオルテは美味しかったのに。Yeah, she's fed her another goddamn eraser. One other thing, Michiru. I take some stomach medicine tonight. If possible, get it from Sachi, not Makina. Because if you ask Sachi, she'll give you the real stuff. Just do it, alright? <laughs> With this, the Michiru incident drew to a close. Human beings are multifaceted creatures. It's perfectly normal for someone to change their tone of speech depending on who they're addressing. Fairly significant shifts in their personality aren't uncommon either. Something or other inspired atypical behavior from Michiru today. But I have no idea what the root cause was, and when you get right down to it, it's really none of my business. There's a line I shouldn't cross here. If I want to avoid tracking my muddy footprints all over my classmates' fragile hearts, I need to continue to exercise such restraint as long as I live in this place. Okay, I am going to confirm what scene this is. Save us, Rua. Okay. Alright, so looking at it, I am now actually set up for all five routes. I am set up for all five routes now. From the way the wiki kind of described it, it was a choice to enter uh, Machina's, Amane's, Sachi's, Michiru's, and then just going through the very last will default you immediately to... Uh, Yumiko's. So just playing through this will put me onto Yumiko's path. But I don't, I don't know if I want to do Yumiko. I am now fully actually set up, ready to go for someone's route. And honestly, Michiru's kind of intrigues me. I'm gonna put load up for now because I'm gonna go, definitely gonna be going back to one of these. I could do this, you know, sequentially. Do Machina, then Amane, yada yada, and ending with Yumiko. I could start with the ones I like the most and then end with the ones I don't exactly like the most. Mostly Yumiko's because it feels like it's just kind of a I don't like my dad kind of thing. He expects uh, me to act a certain way, and I don't like that. I don't know, it's just, yeah. That feels a little too meh to me. Makina's is kind of intriguing, just because she wants us to be her goddamn father. And she was going to pay us to be her father. Michiru, she seems to have some kind of thing going on where the mention of friends and best friends in particular makes her physically ill that i'd love to know more about and uh sachi i mean she's sachi can't exactly remember the context from hers i think it was making like punishing her for something that she supposedly did wrong And we went against it. Can't a hundred percent remember. So I'm 
thinking perhaps... Oh, yeah, and of course, Amane is just kind of... She's really attached to us. To the point of waiting in our room for hours on end for us to come back with a meal prepared for us. So she's attached to us for some reason or another. So I'm almost thinking I'm going to make my play order uh, go... Almost in reverse. Go Michiru, Sachi, Amane, Makina, and then end it off with Yumiko. Because Yumiko, I'm just kind of eh, about. Makina's, I feel, might get really weird, so. The whole be my father, please thing is just kind of. Eh, kind of icks me. Amane's feels kind of like the, uh, almost like a default route you'd want to go on. Just because she's been the most, uh, open about just kind of everything. One moment. All right, and I'm back. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's the root order I'm probably going to do. Michiru, Sachi, Amane, Makina, Yumiko to finish it. Kind of wish there was a principal Tachibana route, but... Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> So, I could just end it here for today, in general. So that Thursday, we can do nothing but, uh, Michiru's. Just because I don't know how, uh, much longer I want to go for today. So, yeah, I think I'll just, uh, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm gonna... Grisaia's done for today, 100%. I'd rather not load anything up, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts or anything. Whew. Sorry. Throat's just a little, eh, right now. I'm trying to think, what could I potentially do? I'm gonna switch to my VRB. I mean, I, I just chatting screen. Perfect. All right, I will switch this over to just chatting. go that's set I'll probably only talk for a little bit and then I'll end it just because I may I may have lost an hour today because of the later start but clearly that did not take very long okay so and I'll keep it on the background just so you know we have the music because why not it works all right yeah so Thursday, we are going to start Michu's route then. Now that we have everything set up, 
We'll be able to get into this uh, game fully now. We'll be out of the common route. Finally. It's only been uh, how many hours? Let's see. What does my uh, thing say? Okay. Uh, 80, 89 hours so far I've put into this game according to my... Uh, AMD, my, you know, graphic stuff, so, yeah, it's, it's been a while, and we're still on the common route. <laughs> so I'm glad we finally get to actually start the game. Proper. <laughs> oh, it took a long time. But hey, we got a lot of nice laughs along the way, and a lot of hating UG. And getting to know these girls. So now we get to expand upon what we know about them and all their other routes. So that'll be fun. Uh, I did make a gunpla order. So you can expect uh, some uh, gunpla in chill streams in the near future. Just two of them. I'm gonna get some pictures up of uh, the stuff I got. So you at least know what uh, is coming. That's not where I wanted to save it. That's a big boy. Okay. <coughs> Ow. So, the two kits I ordered were the high grade of the Gundam Dynamis. It's from Gundam uh, 00. It's a sniper unit. Used by the stupidly sexy Lock-On Stratos. <laughs> I do already have a kit of this, unfortunately. It's not doing too great. The one hand is literally, st like, st duck inside the wrist. Now if I try to get it out, I'm just going to break the joint on it. And everything on him is incredibly loose. Plus he was like the second kit I ever made when I started the hobby. So he's kind of due for me to try again knowing some better stuff. At least, you know, I can do better. The other kit I ended up getting... Actually, one I've wanted to get for a while. I gotta shrink this uh, picture down big time, because it's a big boy. Good lord, it's huge. The other kit coming is the, is the Sazabi. This is uh, Char Asnable's final mobile suit that he used in uh, Char's counterattack. This thing, he does got designed to work specifically for how he wants to fight. It has thrusters everywhere, it's big, it's beefy, it has remote weaponry, has a big shield, big gun, emergency beam sabers, a beam tomahawk, a blaster in its gut. This thing is everything Char needed for his rebellion. And it is like the it'll, it'll be the final thing I can have for uh, my line of char suits. I discount the Xiong because I don't like it that much, and he only used it once. It was just kind of a I need a mobile suit. Here, use this. Okay. <laughs> so I have his Zaku too. I have his Zagok. I have his Gelgoog. 
I have the uh, Hyakushiki he used when he was Quattro Vagina. And now I have his final suit. And then as the bonus, I do have uh, you know, the Sinanju. The suit his quote-unquote uh, second coming uh, used. Which was designed to like look a lot like the Sazumi. It took a lot of design cues from it just to inspire that uh, psychological fear in everyone that, yes, Char did return. <laughs> but yeah. Those two kits are going to be coming in. When they will, uh... Good question. I don't think the, uh... Yeah, they haven't been shipped yet, and because I ordered them before the holiday, they're not going to be shipped out yet, so I probably won't get them till next week, honestly. That's my guess. I'm probably not going to end up getting them until sometime next week. I won't know my schedule, uh... Uh, for next week until like late Thursday unfortunately so even after I end stream I still won't know more than likely so again we'll just have to uh, keep that look out on Twitter for my schedule more than likely though I might try at least try to Dark Souls then just trying to do, you know, that whole week will just be primarily Dark Souls streams, and then the week after that we'll go back to Kingdom Hearts, etc. Just keep switching between the three games I got unless I get uh, more time to potentially stream. Because if I end up getting, like, late shifts, like at start of three or something, I can add more streams. But a lot of my uh, work schedule times are starting at, like, 10 or 11, so... Not really any time for me to actually stream and be ready for work. When I normally stream. But well, we'll make it work. We've done this before. There's no lockdowns on the horizon, so there won't be a nice long stretch where I can just stream every day, like uh, when I first started. <laughs> Admittedly, I do miss those days. I kind of like being able to stream every day. It was, it was fun. I was able to get through a lot of stuff. the amount of streams I'm, I am able to do, I'm getting through a fair bit. He did finish off Chain of Memories in pretty good time. Both stories in Chain of Memories. I got through those in really good time with, like, minimal grinding, I would say. Kingdom Hearts 2? Uh, I could easily get through that without grinding at all. The game is just so ingrained in me that I should be should have no problems, even if I am on proud mode. <coughs> I might get hung up on a few bosses, and I'll know which bosses I might get hung up on. But they won't be that bad. In all honesty, in the grand scheme. I'll still be able to take them down in a stream. <laughs> the worlds will just be a little longer than they were back in KH1. So it will take a little longer, but I'll never be, like, severely under level kind of thing. It'll be annoying, but not undoable. Dark Souls! That thing is going to take forever, and if I end up having to drop the game, I will drop the game, especially if I feel I am not having fun. I remember I am now at the point where I can fight the Bell Gargoyles. That's not going to be a good time, mostly because I don't have their patterns down. I mean, I only fought them once. So I don't have their attack patterns down. I don't know when I can dodge and whatnot. But I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. If I got to somewhat grind just to get souls to upgrade my shit, I'll do it. Whew. And Fruit of Grisaia, we're probably going to be playing this uh, well into 2023, if uh, from what I've heard, the game is long. It's hundreds of hours. So that's going to be something. Probably the com combination of Doki Doki Blue Skies and All Routes and Katawa Shoujo just put together. I was like, that's its length. <laughs> and those took me a little while. 
but I had the benefit of being able to stream a lot more to get through it a little quicker. Oh well, it is what it is. I'll get through it. If two days a week is all I got, two days a week is all I got. Whichever one I end up finishing first or dropping first, like uh, if I end up dropping Dark Souls or if I finish Fruit of Grisaia or Kingdom Hearts 2 or whatnot first, I might move on to something else. We'll see. Because having three games on the go seems to be just right for now. I don't want to have too many things on the go, and then it's like, okay, what the fuck am I watching right now? <laughs> I gotta have some consistency. <sighs> throat. Why you gotta be like this, throat? about it. I don't think there's any more I can talk about that is relevant. Yeah, there really isn't. So yeah, I am just going to end off uh, for today. I'm going to end off here for today 100% now. Shorter stream than uh, usual, but uh, eh, that's okay. We can have a few shorter streams here and there. That just means uh, Thursday I might try to go a little longer because we're actually starting a route. We're actually going to be starting one. <laughs> I'm excited. That'll be a lot, a lot, a lot of fun, I think. Fingers crossed my internet doesn't uh, go screwy then as well. <laughs> but anyway. Thank you, everyone, for, you know, watching and lurking. I do appreciate it very, very much. I again apologize for the delay. The internet just didn't want to cooperate. But anyhow, I uh, hope you all have yourselves a uh, great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.